Hey Cruiser, welcome back to Cruising Cruise Craft. I'm Josh Wells, and today we are removing the swim platform from good old Stargazer. If you like DIY boat repairs, I encourage you to like and subscribe below so you can cruise with us. All right, let's get started. This here is actually our first big project with Stargazer. That's my father right there. Everybody wave at Doug. The swim platform basically needs a complete facelift. The level of neglect with this thing was, well, you'll see for yourself here in just a minute. We're trying to figure out exactly what we're gonna do here. To take it off, we have a few different screws. They look like this underneath. We have three screws in every bracket and there are five brackets. So 15 bolts and 15 screws in total, we believe. It should be pretty easy to take off. We're hoping it's gonna be straightforward anyways. We're gonna sand it a few times, plug up all the holes with epoxy, coat it with penetrating epoxy, embed the Chris Craft emblem, and sand it some more. Then we're gonna varnish it right before it goes back on the boat next spring. It's gonna be a lot of work, but it's also gonna be a lot of fun too. If you see the name the previous owner called her was Wayne's World, we're definitely gonna change that as soon as we can and christen her Stargazer. Well, it turns out it's not as straightforward as I thought. The bolts are on there pretty good and the swim platform is not cooperating at all. It doesn't look like it's been removed in a while. Once my father and I actually get the bolts broken loose, it, it should just lift right up off the back of the brackets. But wait, there's more. Our fun doesn't stop there. On top of everything else, our brackets are rotted. So we're gonna have to take those off too. That should be an exciting time in the hole we go. My father has out his screwdriver and he's actually using it as a bit of a chisel right now. You can see the layers of bottom paint and rot and rust coating the slotted screw heads. So he has his work cut out for him. While he takes care of the business out here, I'm gonna climb inside the boat with my pneumatic drill and try and loosen up the bolts from the other side while he's chipping away at the screw head. Let me tell you, these bolts are stuck on there like a seagull to a clam cake. And it looks like they stuck these things on with 5200 sealant. Cruisers, please be careful whenever using 5200. It's a permanent strength sealer. I know on the boat yard, everybody says, well, 5200 this, 5200 this. Every time use 5200. Don't use it. If you ever have to remove something, you want 4200. 4200 will work just as well below the waterline, but it made it's made to be removable at the same point. Your swim platform is never going to be a permanent structure you'll want to be able to remove it for routine maintenance, painting, just basic upkeep without damaging the gel coat or any other parts of your boat when you're wrenching down on something. So be careful, 5200 is a permanent sealer designed never to be removed. So if you're gonna glue down a captain's chair, that is not gonna be a great thing because you can never replace that captain's chair without a great deal of damage. And trust me, you'll want to do it without nearly as much hassle as we are having. Even the screws were sealed with 5200. That swim platform wasn't going anywhere and it has stress cracks all the way through the gel coat. We're definitely gonna need new bolts, new brackets. Salt water got inside the tubes and started to eat away from the inside out. The gel coat's so cracked and rusted on the top of the brackets and around the screw holes because the bracket's actually flexing underneath the weight of the swim platform. And whatever the swim platform was treated with did not hold up. It's, uh, the swim platform itself is so dried out that it's actually not holding much weight either. It's, it's flexing and it's, it's way too light for its size. It's dry rotted is what it feels like. I gotta check that out. Once we get back to the workshop, we'll really be able to dig in and find out what the cause of all this damage is. We'll be back in two weeks with the first part of our repairs where I'll teach my son Sam to sand and work with epoxy. 
Thanks for joining us today, Cruiser. We love you. Don't forget to like and subscribe below to keep up with our latest DIY projects. Until next time, I'm Josh Wells, and remember, small boats are especially vulnerable to peer pressure. See you soon.